Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. The Moja Club makes awesome funky socks that you can buy individually. You can get a subscription and by you I mean you and you and the other guy. Sign up for 6 months or a year and get a pair delivered to your house every month. Get a pair, keep a pair. They'll even throw in one extra month free. And Cyrus says listeners get a full 33% discount. Just go to their website themojaclub.in and use the code Cyrus says. If you're looking for a foreign education, if you want work abroad, if you're an NRI or if you're just a gangster on the run, On Course is the podcast for you. It'll teach you how to get your career in shape before you get yourself in shape. Check out new episodes on our IBM podcast apps. Happy listening, mother f- and fathers. <laughs> All right, please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus says. Today we meet Anuva Pal, a man who's taught me all about religion and sexual practices of the Orient. All this and more with Anuva Pal. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows. My fellow Indians, and I say this without being a minister, but I might be one day. My fellow Indians, I cannot take the name changing rubbish that we do in terms of spelling. Yesterday I met a kid outside Oval Maidan who said his name was Prithvi, but on his shirt it was P R U U T H V I, which is Prithvi. I argued with his mother for five minutes, and she was very offended. Please understand, you cannot change spellings to suit what you think is good luck or bad luck. It makes no sense to the rest of us. Prithvi, it's called Cyrus says. And that's what Cyrus says. The other day I ran into. I love that you like names. I ran into a. A guy, his name was Rupe. Right? Spell R U P A A Y, and I said, "You mean Rupen?" Huh? Because he was a Gujarati guy. Sounded. Yeah. He said, "No, Rupe." I said, "Why?" He said, "My parents used to live in England." Oh. I said, "So you wanted to make it very hip, but you realize now you sound like the currency." But Rupe is neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah. It's it's beyond gay. It's like it's, it's <laughs> French. <laughs> Elections coming up. I know what Paul with us here. Our show is called Cyrus Says. This is the formal part of the show. After which I have nothing generally. <laughs> so I just look at the guest and beg and say, "Please do a poem." Do Listen, anything. I'm. I, it's a big pleasure uh, because I'm a huge fan. Your formal part. <laughs> this, is, this is my you formal wrote, part. You wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, I have a piece of paper. I carry it because uh, many people may not remember this, but when we all began our careers two, three weeks ago, yeah, on a Sunday, <laughs> on a Sunday, yeah, the, the only. Only English comedy going on in India was what you were doing, right? Well, if you count Parliament and certain industrialists and this Rajiv guy Gandhi who's stuck in London and trying to come back, <laughs> yeah, Rajiv Gandhi's passed away. Just, <laughs> oh, I think you mean the younger one. Yeah, no one tells me anything. <laughs> Damn you, Americans! Do your study your history. <laughs> All right, yeah. Before you mentioned comedians, uh, yes. you were listed as uh, one of the top five comedians in uh, the, by the Times of India. Yeah, but you, you know what we think of that paper? <laughs> Oops, are you with Arnab or Arunab? <laughs> the two of them now. Oh, we'll come to that later. Watch your mouth, because you need to work with these guys. This Either is true. Or, yeah. This is true. Uh, okay, let's quickly mention Anubhav is a comedian, screenwriter, playwright, and novelist. For me, when I first heard of you, yes, it was the book you wrote. Yes, and it was a fact. And this was very huge for me because I'm a big Seinfeld fan. Yes, the fact. In India, I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I, I think this is 15 years back, if I'm yeah, not yeah. mistaken. I couldn't believe there's a guy who looks like us, yeah, yeah. who's actually involved in Seinfeld. Yeah. Other than you know maybe a guy who's driven the actor to the studio and back, you know, and yeah. got a ten dollar tip. So I was stunned, I, and I thought it was a joke. And you know, this guy's actually been on a couple of episodes. He's consulted. And yeah. I, can we just start with that, and then we'll look, trace your entire journey as much as we can. Yeah. But what the hell were you doing with Jerry Seinfeld? I think what what happens is, uh, just as an aside, I think. All of our careers have two or three hallmark moments, right? right? Like I had Seinfeld, I had Loins of Punjab, and then you live off it for ten, fifteen years, which is only a fair. I think. Yeah, I think there so. are only three jokes. Let's tell the truth to <laughs> yeah, everybody. Correct, correct. And they've correct. been overused. Yeah. yeah, you know this is exactly how five stories in the world. Five stories, right? three jokes, one woman <laughs> yeah. who's still trying to get married, or lead, or both, or just lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. or just have her say, "I know him." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so you know, all those years ago, there was a big shortage of Indian writers. Like, but what like were you now. doing in America? You were studying. 
I uh, was st- uh, studying dramatic writing. Uh, so I went to NYU to study Only writing. a Bengali Only. could convince his family that this is the way to make money. Uh, forget engineering, law, all that <laughs> rubbish. Dramatic writing, that's the big one. <laughs> no. Oh, listen to me. <laughs> My dad sounds exactly like that. <laughs> oh, God, really? <laughs> and only a Bengali family would say, that's fine. You know? Like, and be proud. Yeah, and the right. next cocktail party, they'll be like, what pilot? What lawyer? He's dramatic writing. Seven years, of course. <laughs> and no one at the party will ask, what will he do for food? But writing in Bengal is huge. Still is, right? Huge. One of the states huge. that still practices writing, as far as I know. <laughs> they know how to write. They don't SMS, nothing. I will write you a note. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Cyrus. <laughs> and they love Sneha <laughs> Shish. <laughs> 15 yeah. pages of yeah. love. Not just I'm surprised that in all the years where you've worked with um, you know Comedy writers This that That there isn't A whole section On Bengalis Like no. I figured That you would I love, love Bengalis yeah, I, I think figured. Bengalis Are very close to Parsis Huge yeah. appetites yeah. Huge opinions Yes And have you ever heard A quiet one Correct So Correct. let me tell you If you're stuck Correct. You need a Bengali friend Correct. Who's help past time Correct. You know one of those I won't take the community names There's just a few of our Indian minorities And our people From different states Who basically don't talk much yeah. So you'll be on a, you're on a Flight with a guy And he'll be like Hello And that's it Yeah Yeah like, like yeah, any short yeah. Hello, myself. <laughs> yeah, no, myself is a lot. Yeah. I would say just hello. I would end there. Hey, <laughs> oh no, let's talk about. But you. also Parsis and Bengalis. No one told us the British left. No one. <laughs> no one. And if you us. did, there'll be a lot of crying. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be um, forget Brexit. That would be so painful. Yeah. God. Although uh, I must say the politics in Kerala has changed over the years. Huh? From yeah. the Scotch drinking champions that were there before, no names mentioned, to the present artist. Yeah. Who Correct. paints many pictures? Not all of them Rembrandt, but. You know, who am I to judge? She's a painter. You be careful. You have family there. I just do a corporate event once a year. Correct. And nobody knows my name. Correct. What his name? <laughs> that TV fellow. Not seen him. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about where you were doing dramatic writing. Honestly, what were you... Just give, quickly give us your school and college background. So, I went to uh, Lamartnia in Calcutta. Oh, you're a rich bitch. Uh, that's the LMOB problem. boy. You this played is... rugby. Well, no... Uh, you didn't play rugby. <laughs> I think... You're the two, the two guys who didn't play into LMOB. Unfit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> but uh, every other Like I went to school yeah, What other sport The other sport is masturbating What are you talking about correct, Come correct, on correct. You didn't do that either I, just, I was no good at either I was You, I messed you up wanted both. a scrum for masturbating You don't correct. get it bro Correct 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 No one gave me that scrum I yeah, tell you yeah. Things are so Especially different Especially in old Calcutta People wearing cravats you Lovely know? Men don't, don't throw this away man yeah. Keep, I want this to stay Yeah My kids are going to grow up Thinking that nobody did that There was no India like this Yeah It's beautiful I, I used to have a teacher called Thelonious Bose Lovely And who used to say uh, Because you know Cal schools had two kinds of things hmm. Bongs and Marus Marus who just paid their way in Right Right, right. And the bongs who had studied Or whatever yeah. got in Right yeah. In posh school The cathedral I'm sure was yeah. similar Whatever yeah. right? So the, they would teach us English Right So this Thelonious Bose would be like Would write on the board uh, Hyperbole Right And huh. a bunch of Marus would be like So hyperbole Hyperbole <laughs> He was like Hyperbole <laughs> It's like same with epitome Right Epitome right. Epitome People walk around And so that's the sort of You grew up in that sort of world Right Forget right? that What about developed Develop. No one Deve- Developed is going on For the last 40 years I've, I've heard ministers in parliament Go What about development <laughs> You idiot It's <laughs> development Then we'll discuss it No <laughs> No one Can do it We can't discuss it We can't say it There are some words Which are bouncers for Indians Isn't it Yeah We just shouldn't get into it at all Meteorological I can't pronounce it Futur <laughs> Futur was F-U-T-U-R-E This guy kept saying uh, I'm looking at my Futur <laughs> I do what he's talking about I see that you've got a terrible throat Yeah I, d- I do these stand-up shows Okay And <laughs> Why does it involve the throat? <laughs> you have to please the crowd I'm laughing so much <laughs> That normally You're laughing You're like me Yeah This is what I like about I must be Bengali So this is the whole thing When we do comedy It's all yeah. about whether we can laugh right? Correct, correct. Ah, I'm good And I have to say that The only time I actually laugh out loud In front of my television Is when you are There with Kodak <laughs> Vijayakar And the volume is off <laughs> Because then it can, it's is probably is really funny on <laughs> See, this is the thing. See, we're laughing. Again, we're laughing. Humor. Nobody else is laughing. No one else. That's amazing. No one. But there's no one else here. Let's also. laugh a little more for all of them. Yeah. 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 Pretend there's not audience. So walked in when we sat down. Have you ever felt that kind of insult? I he mean, did. obviously we do, but yeah. others don't. Actually, I walked into the studio. He left the room. He just walked off. Yeah. It was yeah. so rude. He was expecting a real guest. I think he wanted us to be nude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I thought he expected a proper comedian like Veer Das or someone. Yeah. He just got me. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a goatee. Where's your goatee? This is the thing. I'm not hip enough as a comedian. You remind me of a throwback to the old comedy days where nobody gives a 
Yeah. What happened yeah, yeah. on beautiful day? You said in the press, <laughs> yeah. it's a very shameful day when stand-up comedy starts taking itself seriously. Yeah. I totally they're agree. So competitive with that. and scary. It's become. And, then they, and with me, they're very patronizing. I want to slap them. So this young kid will come and say, you know, I saw you growing up. I really like you. Uh, tell me, tell me something. Uh, what should I do? And things. They actually talk like that. But meaning you're still doing. No, you, a, you don't like me. B, you hate me. C, you, you, you want to take away my work. Yeah. And D, I dated your mother. <laughs> you're his dad. And you're the Joke exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Shit happens. Just man. your son coming and saying, "What do I do yeah. with my career?" What's wrong with? Oh, well, yeah. Please don't ask me for advice. <laughs> Anuva Pal, let us go so, back to you and your life. Uh, LMOB, yeah. college education. No so, masturbation or rugby. So what? What did Dad do? What is the family business? Was there some sort of? <laughs> did you have an idea of something else beyond comedy as a young man? No, I was in. My dad was in shipping. He's a shipping man. He worked for the shipping no, company. Shipping is he a sailor? He was who, who wears a uniform and has girls in every port, or is he a sh- shipping as in he owns a shipping business? He now he does. That would be the Marwari neighbor. Yeah, yeah correct, sorry, correct. sorry, sorry, Mr. Bhuturia. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, my dad had a shipping business, but oh. then the, the Maru cheated. You know, it's like that. That's the typical Bengali is not story. The right word. This yeah. is just so yeah. The we Beng- had a mansion once under the British. Where do you live now? The Bengali is all the education, but the Marwari says sign here. Yeah, I yeah. don't understand yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, you've understood the essence of Calcutta. I yeah, I'm very pro Bengal. You know what? Uh, yeah. Pro Bengalis. <laughs> Because the present government is a little dangerous. What about Derek O'Brien? And I'm only talking about his hair. He <laughs> really. He used to be the the face of quizzing and this liberal sort of guy, and now he scares me. He's, he's like a the mo- chief spokesperson. Yeah, but he, he behaves. It, it's almost like a gangster. For, I get yeah. Bengali gangsters are hard to come by, but yes, yeah. we, we do have yeah. a few. He starts crying in Parliament. He, he cried about he some, cried some in bill. Parliament. Uh, he gets upset very easily, and his hair shakes on its own even when he's not talking. I mean, I don't know what the hell is going on there, really. It's a. It's definitely a hair transplant, right? You think? Or if you pull at it a lot, it grows. <laughs> so my. Friends told me about the. <laughs> I, okay, here's a little secret. I don't know if this will be interesting to anybody, but there's a group of people in Cal. It seems who got their hair transplant at the same time. Because I saw Arun Lal, the cricketer. Yes, and he's he's the poster yeah. boy, by the way. Huh? Yeah, correct. For the hair weave. Huh? So I have exactly. Yeah. I have a feeling Arun Lal goes to parties and recruits. There are five so posh people in Cal. Now because of the phone culture, he carries yeah. his little video. Yeah. Uh, take a look here, uh, Shrinivas. Come here. Take a look. Boom. <laughs> Why Shrinivas in Calcutta? We'll come to later. But yeah. some BCC I guess. <laughs> Sure, sure. Had to turn yeah, up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they also they got it got a group discount, I think. I think so. Now it's a bit too late for both of us because yeah. we have only eyebrows to play with. <laughs> Correct. There's Correct. no point going there. Correct. Uh, so you left India and went to America to study? I did. Yeah. And, and it was dramatic writing and And nothing. You're kidding me. Yeah. Please tell me this is not true. No, as this is for worse than funny. This is like death. This is like suicide. <laughs> you actually thought I'll do dramatic writing and I'll come back like what? So what it was was that everyone that goes abroad says something broad like finance. Nobody knows what it means. No. Yeah. Yeah. Marketing. So lots of South Bombay people will say, "What do you say? Investment banking. It yeah. doesn't mean anything. It's just a word." Not in 2007, eight. I can tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when they came back here and were working in McDonald's. Papa. Yeah. There you go. He used to be in my class. Yeah. Uh, I'll have the double whopper. Yeah. 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 Investment banking is Annapurna. Cement, the dance there you company. Go, there you yeah, go, yeah. Um, and then I studied English literature in college. And now that I, sounds a lot better. I mean, yeah. You can at least be a teacher. Go on. Yeah, exactly. At least you could do something. Yeah. Right? Now. I don't know why there was no protest. If you studied I, English literature. Let me just test you so that the yeah, audience listening knows yeah, that it's true. Yeah. Name Chetan Bhagat's last two books. Ah, that's a great, great question. You don't know anything about literature. I don't know anything. If you don't know Chetan Bhagat's last two books, know. what literature did you study? I didn't say I don't know anything. And I'm, I'm doing the Chetan Bhagat Punjabi way. It's literature. Yeah. Literature. It's two syllables. Yeah. Literature. Literature. There's yeah. no written in the middle. He's our country's leading intellectual. He is. He's the only intellectual. He's We've not allowed a second one to grow. Nothing. Yeah. Cyrus, you may have. You know, seen in India where Fali Nariman was. Thanks, was thanks there. For, for ageism is also like racism, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, but it, I'll accept that. Both of us. Fali Nariman is distinctly India. related to me. He's my father's cousin. Oh, really? That's right. So Can if imagine? I ever like end up in court or whatever, you know, don't the, call me. <laughs> <laughs> We're the poor cousins. So I, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You were in America where? I mean, I went to a small town in Ohio. Uh, interestingly, I studied in the town that became the deciding vote for the Trump, uh, uh, Trump uh, election because they, they that was the swing state. They voted for you guys have been swinging ever since. Yeah, yeah. And what is the town called? Yeah. Columbus, Ohio. Was you, Columbus? Yeah. So you know my sister-in-law Salma. <laughs> we're very close. We're good friends. Huh? We're good. She's got the same hairstyle as you. <laughs> <laughs> and if she ever hears this, I can't go home. This is the end of the podcast. <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, yeah. No, forget Columbus. Cyrus missing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Banks yeah. of the Ohio. That's where my body will be found. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's cool. A huge sense of history, Columbus, Ohio. But uh, you were studying what? <laughs> 
<laughs> so here's the thing. I think eventually I wanted to go to England to do something, but because I want to run away from, I felt like Indian parents would show up quite regularly if you yes, went to England. Yes. They always do, right? I know this road, yes, whatever. Right? Yes, yes. So I thought, what is and, that? And then you'll be happy to see them. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, with your with your drugs and your girls yeah, and yeah. your animals and your experiments, and then yeah. they come in. Yeah. Wait, so, ah, I've brought your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I love the last part of that. Animals and experiments. Yeah. Imagine what my college life is like. Isn't that what uh, frat houses are? And isn't that what the American ex- experience is when you're that like age? Like a small penguin runs by. Say it is. So my uh, yes. wife stops my kids leaving. <laughs> I'm a typical Indian father. I'm very attached. That's right. Now yeah. they're wanting to go to America. Isn't I it? want to go with them. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Actually make them yeah. it's Make them do all this stuff All your shows Why, why hasn't someone written a sitcom About an Indian parent yeah. uh, Sort of thing with the, Because you never leave the kids So you have to go there just, In one way or the other That is a great idea We have to go there That's a great so idea So you, you see the, the guy's trying to find himself And become a male And you know you're saying, Identity crisis Eric Erickson's thing And all that And then suddenly in the middle of all this When he's just about making it And a girl is giving him attention And four or five guys have formed a gang with him <laughs> there. In walks Mr. and Mrs. Bose and end of story this is there. Because he's now attending <laughs> yeah. The socials and events And the feds with his dad yeah. I think you may have Described my college life Oh yeah. god yeah. Please go on this Also if beautiful. you're a Bengali only child Right It's the worst Because uh, I don't think they ever Like their whole life's attention Is how to just Constantly be around the child Like I don't think so, They ever think you're so not So what you're saying infant. is You're the life's work Of your parents Yeah Singular life's work Yeah and this is all they got to show. This is, this is it. A bald, fat, middling, mediocre comedian. And this what, a, what about you? <laughs> Imagine if I pass this progeny yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. That's hilarious. All right. But so, American colleges, just speaking of sending kids, what is it now? Like $1 million oh, a year? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. It's 30000 if you're white. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can According to the Republican convention It goes up after that <laughs> But does you As a celebrity in India Do, you, do your kids get I'm a discount I'm a celebrity in South Mumbai <laughs> What are the chances That people will throng Columbus, Ohio To watch my plane land I mean will they, will they, A brown man with a bag Yes they will watch my plane <laughs> yeah. land They will watch me closely They will harass me They will hold me And they will put me in a box <laughs> yeah. And send me back For different reasons For different reasons yeah. Well I'll be a celebrity by then yeah, Yo, famous. See that guy yeah. That's, that's my American accent By the way It's quite good <laughs> it's See quite that good. guy <laughs> We got two people today Abu Saif Yes And Cyrus Brocha Yes, yes. And, and a name like Cyrus Brocha They won't they they know It sounds as ISIS As you can get As yeah. far as they're concerned yeah. Yes I've read this name 20 times <laughs> A man who's not even Heard a fly <laughs> And this uh, purely Because of the fact That I can't see anymore I can't tell if it's a fly yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I told The uncle from next door I'm so sorry <laughs> Pratap if you're listening I apologize Okay we'll, we have to take a break You've talked too much I want to talk about your life sorry. And you only yeah. reach Columbus, Ohio yeah. And the fact that your parents Are so proud of you But they have no idea What you do This is, And it's still 30 years behind Yeah, yeah, yeah With 30 years behind your life? Yes Oh, yes. Jesus I'm very old I Can don't you know come back like, Some I'll other be back. time? I'll be All back right. <laughs> Take a break Aloha Pals Boring Life Part 2 <laughs> What's the best new restaurant in town? Which bar sucked? What's the worst new Hindi film? What's the most obscure thing to do on the weekend? And what's the most interesting new walking tour? If you want to know how to make the most of Bombay, listen to the podcast by thedailypow.com. We are Pranuti, Amit and Purva. We're your guide to what to do, see and eat in the city. You can find new episodes of the podcast every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer and on thedailypow.com. Okay, Anwar Pal is still here. He didn't leave for some reason. I, I thought you were going, but you want to talk more, right? CBI That's fine. is coming. Yeah, I have CBI? to point because is your comedy that dangerous, it's that bad. Yeah, I have to point this out, Cyrus. I have never actually, and because people can't see this, I must mention this. There's a piece of paper you have with my life on it. I am trying to get to Anwar's yeah. first line. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm on 2007 cult hit comedy. I haven't even reached it. It's very gracious because I've never actually, in all these years. Have my life on a page Like If when done Can I take this And show it to my family So they You know It'll make you feel better About yourself And you can add With a pen Anything more you want to You know Larry David and me Did a sketch for Whatever You know Put it down That's what I've done Yeah Good Uh, cook Whatever Anything Good cook yeah, good cook is there. <laughs> That's half the show. Uh, listen uh, very quickly. Um, the show, the movie Loins of Punjab, very funny film. Yeah. I think Manish Acharya, unfortunately, who uh, you know passed away. The late but, great Manish Acharya. Yeah, but what a wonderful film! Again, I think 
ahead of its time and also perhaps you know you have to have a discerning sort of uh, mindset to really enjoy the parody and all that yeah which is why six people in south bombay saw it no 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 you know, I, i think that this film would have worked really well today Today it would have yeah. Today. Eight or ten <laughs> yeah, We could eight have ten. at least Eight, fifteen people <laughs> There you yeah, go yeah. Uh, you, you wrote that right? We wrote it We met at NYU He actually Those Seinfeld But years, you were in Columbus, Ohio Some poor beggar man college yeah. What were you doing in NYU? So I got into uh, film school And then oh. I went for But Manish Acharya Because he's a smart Gujarati man Yeah In the time where I had just studied English And then gone to NYU huh. He had sold a whole business Yeah he'd already become Millionaire at 17 Millionaire and, yeah, yeah, Right And he was funding his own film school for fun like he was done for life yeah. at 30 he was yeah. sorted which is beautiful really i why didn't that happen to us where this did is, we go wrong yeah yeah <laughs> oh, yeah here i am driving now. an auto on sv road and then and i'm your customer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now the barter is uh, can i pleasure you because i have no money yeah, and yeah. you're actually saying yes yeah. that's where our that's our friendship yeah. Oh, yeah it's not friendship it's desperation it for is, you it is. <laughs> for me it's friendship it yeah. is it is All right. that's where it began correct so lines of punjab and so you wrote that in College, you were still yeah, in America. You had never done any stand-up gigs or any of this. No, stand-up all uh, was uh, thanks to. There's no British room in India, so you just stand up here. Yeah, yeah. actually, when I when I wrote lines of Punjab. Bakra was on And you were the only Like I don't think you realize And this is not even A long time ago I'm not saying about age But there was A generation oh. of huh. Yeah it's terrible huh. <laughs> Comedy writers Yeah For whom Like you were the only Thing to turn to And I don't know I never lived in Bombay So I don't know How many people Must have shown up At NTV Saying they want to be you Most of them joined The BJP subsequently <laughs> So <laughs> no, It was a different era yeah. Altogether Yeah now they're politicians yeah. yeah I think the AIB boys Worked for us They used to write uh, The large one And uh, the <laughs> less The one where light sh- Shines less on And uh, the third one Because that they was the, for us. the thing right Like you were the Saturday Night Live Like people would show up in, Like we would I was living in Cal I would come back for vacations I would come and see that that this kind of humor was possible because what was the alternative? The alternative was wow, 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 wow. No, you know, like oh, see, we had a brief saying that we have to do more Hindi on MTV, and I started doing more Hindi on MTV, and yeah. then I got a letter from the Prime Minister saying, "Can you not speak in Hindi?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, because it's a yeah. disgrace, and the country yeah. is not proud. Yeah, and this is before Ornob. Yeah, because he would have gone mad. <laughs> he would have gone. He would have, he would have had session after session only on me. <laughs> Why is he speaking in Hindi? <laughs> Why? Why is he speaking, ladies and gentlemen? No, yeah. no, 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 tell me seriously. Why? Yeah, there'd be panelists discussing 17. your and, Hindi. And they'd Pakistan in the end And rightly so Yeah correct <laughs> Correct Pakistan and the British A co-alliance between those two Correct yeah. Your Hindi would be considered Anti-national Absolutely It is in, yeah. in many ways Yeah Especially since it's Like Bengali It's not gender specific My, my <laughs> Hindi is just all over the place No Bengali has a gender It's lovely yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I love yeah. See, In many ways You're the only non-sexist part of India Yeah correct Correct um, Okay The President is Coming Was a Bollywood film Yeah uh, Which had Kunal Roy Kapoor As uh, oh, director You know Kunal right Kunal was an Eight year old boy Who I used to teach Acting to in Ryle's workshops Yes He used to stammer And stutter and spit While talking Which he still does I think he's still there In that workshop I no, Now he's nine He's <laughs> done so much But he's the best looking Of the three Kapoors I can tell you that He's a good looking Having boy Having showered with all of them <laughs> Yeah uh, He's a good looking boy And uh, no, we, You would know this He had a stammer And he was very His mom had told us also That he's very shy And can you help And all that So I put my finger In the wrong orifice And uh, today, It worked it, it worked Well it's still there <laughs> As you mentioned I, I was going to say It opened, it opened, <laughs> it opened up So many yes, possibilities yes, But I'm not yes. going to say that You might Cyrus. as well We are better than that No we can't be <laughs> <laughs> And Rohan Sippy Was the big, big shot Bollywood producer Was the producer Yeah so he came To see the play Kunal directed it right. So I have to say So Rage Productions You know that lot yeah. uh, Shanaz, who, Rahul, Rajit Who wrote President is Coming? I did right, So that's yours Yeah so right. I, we did it They picked seven plays And they produced them In South Bombay right. Back you know Before YouTube comedy Picked up you know, the theater was a place. It was. It was. People would come. It still is there. You can park your car and then watch YouTube. That's basically what it is now. <laughs> I think you just summed up Indian entertainment. There you go. Yeah. I know. It's so sad. People don't even wait to watch the whole YouTube video. Hey, Brocha, check this out. And then three seconds, as my old eyes see something, he's moved to something he's else. He's gone. He's gone. You know, sometimes at NCPA over the years, I go up to the light booth right. to see attention spans of audiences. Yeah. Like earlier, they would see a whole scene, right? Right. In a Ryle play or Alec play. Whatever yeah. whole scene And then the phones Would come out Yeah. Now if the dialogue Is boring for one second They're already watching A Kunal Kamra video <laughs> So that's the attention span But of Kunal Kamra himself Is watching the video That's <laughs> correct, the problem correct, He's not supporting the theatre Yeah correct But he's gone to see a play He's watching the video Yeah But I think we could, we'll just have to Make everything shorter 
Yeah. I'm thinking about this audience can't sit to two and a half hours, three hours. Hindi films have you know shrunk. Correct. Everything is shrinking. I think we're going to have a ten minute play now. Correct. But people will pay good money for that. Yes. It'll be like ten minutes. Correct. And six o'clock it starts. Six ten it's over. But everyone will be happy because they can go back to YouTube yeah. and live in peace. Yeah. Don't bother us with yeah. your stupid plays. Yeah. Speaking. And some Hindi comedy about trains or whatever. But do you think like you know the stuff we grew up with like. Alec Padamsi doing a six-hour Hamlet. Yeah, like, well, do you think that kind of the stuff? The worst part about that was yeah. it was Othello actually, and the worst part was he called it Alec Padamsi's Othello. No mention yeah. of Shakespeare. That. Shakespeare was cancelled. It was yeah. Alex. Alec presents Alec Padamsi's Othello yeah. Written and directed by Alec Padamsi yeah. And yeah. in fact he didn't even act in it But it was starring Alec Padamsi And yes. Kabir Vedi was the star And by the end it was You know Credits Alec Padamsi Sound There was no sound Alec Padamsi All the other characters Alec Padamsi There was nobody Othello alone doing a monologue Do you think a generation done? of Mumbaikas Grew up thinking he wrote Othello? Everything Including the <laughs> stuff you see in the urinals You know like I can reach here That's Alec It's unbelievable We He's taking The epics Rama and Mahabharata Because he was older than them For sure it's all him. Shakespeare. Yeah. No spelling mistakes. <laughs> and Shakespeare. Who that? Who that? Who that Shakespeare guy? <laughs> Can we talk about you? Yes, the president yes, sure, is coming. Sure. Was a, made a lot of uh, noise, and suddenly it's rare because the uh, writing was taken seriously. All we yeah. did in uh, Mumbai growing up in the eighties and all yeah. is we take a Neil Simon play yeah. and we tarnish it and make it uh, localize it and then you know get twenty laughs and uh, yeah. you know run it for twenty five shows and go to the next one. Yeah. Or you Woody Allen don't drink the English, water. Uh, don't drink the water yeah. I was done to death Woody Allen himself Came and redid it <laughs> Couldn't bear it But uh, you, you're, am I right to say that You're almost a, I think you are The first Indian English writer Who's writing original material You know what happened is th- There were few that Remember Mahesh Datani Showed up And he started writing But Mahesh Datani Has one joke in the play huh? <laughs> The last uh, play was a, two, a pair of twins With one leg They shared one leg And it's all comedy it's, it's actually a tragedy But I found it funny But they threw me out Of the theatre <laughs> you know, like, And the, the way they acted They had two hips <laughs> and then they had one leg each And then the third leg they had to share Which I think is A lot of comedy in that Correct. But apparently it's a lot of tragedy as well Especially at football academy I have not like seen this play But it sounds very intriguing Tara, Tara, it's called Tara Oh yeah, there yeah. was that Yeah, that yeah. was the first one Yeah That's right uh, So yeah See, you masked a lot of comedy But you've seen everything I was to I've turned to comedy Because of the pain of the theatre <laughs> What I had to watch During Evita Where Alec uh, sang it first Instead of Sharon It was terrible You know A bearded man Eva Peron, As Eva Peron. Here, Don't cry for me Argentina yeah. By the way, I wrote the song <laughs> Yeah I would have shot myself But you at least turned <laughs> to comedy she dies anyway <laughs> <laughs> See again Only we are laughing Nobody Nobody else. These names. The four people Who yeah. saw Evita Are like What are they talking Evita I know one girl In Bandra But uh, De Cruz oh, Correct it. Some reference To Don't Cry For Me Argentina No one for, <laughs> World Cup <laughs> Bengali football moment uh, Let's get back To the fact That you were The first writer Yeah but you know Like it came around The time where Like De Cunha Had done Baji Rao And then <laughs> Excuse me <laughs> you know, It came around That time yeah, right yeah. Like when this Up comedy was starting And people were Looking for more local I think we still are As Indians Yeah Even in English You need to identify With the person But I think you started it Right I. It's all me English I can't Indian lie comedy It's just me Yeah Me and Doordarshan Yeah correct Country White Classroom <laughs> we, we were the two projects <laughs> That the government uh, Pioneered and said Go forward and spread Education and comedy UGC I'm doing education And doing culture. comedy There you go <laughs> huh. So um just like you know, like whatever happened to quizzing, like with Conmore, it all started with Siddharth Basu, right? Like we can't Siddharth Basu and yeah. Derek O'Brien. Ter- Don't oh, forget about him favorite, and his yeah. dad Neville. Was yeah, uh, his dad? Uh, Lord. <laughs> I feel like it had a Lord. Hundred percent. Neil O'Brien. Neil O'Brien. Like the Earl of Gloucester. Yeah, 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 yeah. Earl of Gloucester yeah. now with the TMC. Yeah, 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 yeah. correct. <laughs> From Downton Abbey. <laughs> From Downton Abbey, but now currently Shakespeare Sarang. <laughs> yeah, damn it. <laughs> But imagine like someone like that, very English quiz master. Like, how does he address rural Bengal? Like, how does he? He doesn't. Socrates, <laughs> pull a chilo. Like, what does he say? He just says Salt Lake Stadium is free. Come and watch the match. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, I, I want to know more about this little quick growth of yours. That British comedy store opened in 2010, and you you one of the big uh, one of the guys that everybody went to see. Well, here's what happened. So you so actually I, almost created from there. Well, the first two I got lucky because the first Loins and President. They became quite popular Right in, At least in South Bombay With whatever Two three people That's our market You don't that have to say Quantifying it That's, That's it. fair That's The it. 11 Anglophiles here The 4 in Cal The 3 in Delhi And the 1 in Patna Who's been shot <laughs> Yeah <'cause laughs> they're killing him <laughs> Evening news yeah, yeah. yeah At least it keeps us fed right? Fair So um, Those two And then you know You start thinking Once 5 people Come to see your stuff You start thinking Oh Everyone loves it But then later you realise It's just up till 
maximum you know worldly <laughs> like that's about the extent so when comedy store opened i was sent to write an article about them Mm-hmm. Man's World was the was a magazine. I know, You're I know. in it often. Okay. Yeah. No, no, I used to write a, a thing for them. I uh, used for, to read for, it for four months. I wrote it, and then after that, uh, for some reason, they didn't call me back. You know, you wrote one on healthy diets yeah. and and gymming and stuff. Hmm. Then I later realized that this was rubbish. <laughs> like I read it as a tip. Like, oh, he, oh, it's just Cyrus writing a serious article. That it said something. And now like, I have a sex column. So you, <laughs> you know, things are good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. People will take tips And I started So you followed it. my diet Now you're following yeah. my sex code And look at how I look now Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to take credit for that Correct, <laughs> Correct. This is my work Correct. In progress Correct okay. And maybe I shouldn't have Taken that advice About the sex code said lock yourself In a private room And sing songs Do you have kids? I, we don't have children We don't have As, As in, in separately wife you do have <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> Okay, quickly about the romance. So the yes. wife is not in the business, right? No, no. And you had a, a corporate job, uh, Anubhava, as well, right? Correct, correct. Uh, so you came back to India and after yeah. all this big talk, you were uh, like a marketing guy. No, so I was a, uh, an editor at Reuters in the US and here. At Reuters, Yeah, that's so right. the English literature finally came to use, mm-hmm. even though I was writing about Ambani's earnings or whatever, but right. it was, I was a financial journalist. And so you were doing that yeah. and then you started doing the comedy store thing, am I right? Yeah, so Don Ward, who ran the comedy store, Lovely said... Lovely daughter, huh? <laughs> well, I took a fancy to her immediately. Notice how everything you, cleared up. My yes, cold, my yes. throat, everything. And the cleared pause up. was more than awkward. Yeah, it's like yeah, I'm not yeah, the only one who fancied her. Yeah. Only you fancy Don more. <laughs> yeah, not clear I have a thing for Don. <laughs> and if you remember, yeah. we met at the com- so yes, they picked a few Indian comics to start doing that. In 2010, I was one but, of the early ones. You were ones. one of the main repeat acts. You know, there were like three, four yeah. names that started coming out, and then people would say, "Ah, who is Anubha Bond? We'll go and see it." But she did run the comedy store. They did. Uh, she called me for a meeting and all that, and she she. Uh, Violated proximity Her face is very close to mine And uh, we both Seem to bench The same amount So uh, you know Our torsos were similar as well uh, I left thinking I met me now, now I'm worried About what this meeting Was about I'm quite concerned No but I to Come and perform there And all that But um, I can't remember What happened You did however Show up on Just a Minute in 2013. We did that together, that's right. The big British show. The British uh, bullies. Yeah. Who tried to bully us. And it went to some 15 million households in Britain. And And then Brexit. (laughs) 20 (laughs) minutes later, Brexit. (laughs) Look what you've done, Cyrus. Ah, You were there too, idiot. It was us two Indians. We destroyed the British Empire. Yeah. But they couldn't do with all the freedom fighters. We, two of us, not understanding the format, (laughs) destroyed the British Empire in just a minute. We just started talking. And they they hold the format of that show very sacred. They're talking about Kunal being serious. Those were very serious guys. Very serious. Played properly. And Paul Merton was some big British comedian. Yes. And he gave me the look. Yeah. The same look the father in law gives you. And you said, Something I'll never forget You said this game Is very boring Can we play Ludo <laughs> it seemed And I like think Paul didn't like that <laughs> Because he hates Ludo He's never wanted Ludo He's never <laughs> Cheater <laughs> Not his game There you go um, But that was your Your big I mean I, I know we I met at the comedy We did win you We lost. lost We lost Like dogs we lost <laughs> We lost And we had an Indian crowd Supporting us yeah. Cheering us on We had docked to the pitch yeah. We got the empires on our side We had home advantage And we still lost This is we were why like Bangladesh at cricket In the first 10 years Yeah <laughs> Go this ahead. is why the empire will always be lost. The fact that you now sound like Darth Vader. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think now I'm going to speak like this, like for the rest of my life. I'm running out of time and I've not been able to write down all your accomplishments. So very I quickly, think I've accomplished I'm, anything. I'm going to say it really quickly. So this is my accomplishment. I think we covered being with there. being with Cyrus Brocha is my accomplishment. Again, a, <laughs> oh, but let's Sequel. talk. About, we should bring up the failures. No, no, no. We don't have time. <laughs> Please. <laughs> listen, listen. Chaos Theory, the president is coming. What is 188 uh, Dial India? One to play Dial It's India. a play I did with... Uh, All these are written by you. It Let is. Let me just yeah. point out. He's, he's the only Indian English writer to consistently write plays, comic plays, in fact. And there's about at least five in the last few years. Chaos Theory, president is coming. One to play Dial India. The bureaucrat. What is his non-fiction book, Disco Dancer? Yeah. So I did a non-fiction book on Disco has Dancer. Has Mithun left a scar on you? No, but... The, Bapida has. The producer of the play was very insulted. He said, I'm going to take you to court why because i i just put down the reviews and oh. one of the reviews said this is the worst 
uh, waste of film footage. <laughs> in the, so I just put down the reviews from the time, and yeah. some said that this is the worst film ever. Yeah. And he was very upset. And then I said, I didn't write. Or Disco Dance was the film. Yeah, so, so I just who, thought Disco Dance was the greatest movie ever made because it's all perspective. It's all yeah, perspective. Yeah, some people think whatever. For us educated types, yes, Disco Dancer. Disco Dancer. Because, can't, can't because everyone says usual suspects. Then you whatever. get names like Sachin Dhawan thrown on you and all that. You know, rubbish. I'm not. Shatranj ki khiladi. What is that nonsense? nonsense. Fellini. How can, how can Fellini make a film on chess? Nothing happens in chess. Yes. Nothing. That's just without the tea. This was a film because the climax of this film, huh. where he wants to beat up the villain in yeah. the 80s. Remember, it was all about beating up the villain yes. and winning. But you started boyhood, and then you grow up and beat up the villain. Yeah. So because the villain uh, insulted you when you were a child. Yeah, and it's then a molested the mum. Yeah, father dies. Yes. You know that father, trajectory. Uh, normally, the mum turns blind. Yes, and then the fa- after the father dies, so that huh. she suffers even more. Yeah, and she trips on the road and a car runs her over twice. Twice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All <laughs> Just that to happens. to make sure she's dead. And so now you have all this anger. Yeah. And you beat up. Now in disco dancer, what happens is that final sequence comes, uh. but there's a dance off. Oh, beautiful! And they're all wearing ponchos. So instead they're of punching, sound. they're punching. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it's punching. And yeah. it's Mithun versus uh, the oh, that's the greatest dance of all time. Um, it, it, so it's a guy called you, Karan Rajdan. Karan Rajdan. Yeah, and the two TV of them actor. have a dance off. So his name is Jimmy in the movie, right? And Karan Rajdan, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. His name is yeah. Sammy, right? And so uh, Mithun does like a step. The two, uh, two Rottweilers that you've just trained. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah. Sammy, yeah. come yeah. here, dance. Yeah. Mm. And then by the so by the time he out dances him to an extent where Sammy dies. He dies. <laughs> he dies, he dies of dance exhaustion. Just dance exhaustion. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is where were we? This is art in its finest form. Yeah. This is. So Fockley's gone to another speed. level, and um, also the mother death here. Why disco dancer is a great movie? Instead of the car running over, she dies of a thing called guitar phobia. Guitar phobia. Yeah, fear of guitars. Yeah, yeah. Because at one point she holds onto a guitar and is electrocuted. So uh, out of all the instruments, including the mouth organ, yes, this is the one she can handle. Yeah. Oh my guitar god. Guitar phobia. Yeah. Guitar phobia. You have been scarred. And the villain also says at one point, like it's a common disease. Yeah. Jimmy can never play again. Why? He's got guitar phobia. Ho gaya. <laughs> like just as a guitar common guitar phobia. Ho gaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Iconic moments in film. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This is a show I want to see. Cyrus no, no, reviewing now, disco no, dancer. Now you have told me clearly why the British left. Yes, they yes. saw disco dancer yeah. and they got on the first ship We're and said, "Just go north." We go are north. going. But can we end on a beautiful uh, yes. moment I had last year? If it's an orgasm, I can't even <laughs> discuss it. <laughs> Uh, see, see how the reaction that caused in my body. I, yeah? I can't tell when you cough and when you're coming. I just yeah, can't yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, is this a problem with all your lovers? Yeah. No, at my age, there's really no, no difference. difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> Vicks ki gori lo. <laughs> you know, I've been married ten years. Yeah. Vicks ki gori does do that. And in fact, ooh ah ouch is also sexual. You know, <laughs> ooh ah ouch. I mean, it sounds like you're banging everything. <laughs> because all your copywriters at Lintas were frustrated Frust- Bengali. Oh. Yeah. You're right, actually. Yeah. Yes, they must have like, yeah. and they went from Linda to low. <laughs> you were saying we'll end with. Well, I said I was going to talk about a particular failure I had because these things continue. I do shows around the world. It's, it's all a very blue nice. pill. You pop it in, you wait half an hour, and then see what happens. <laughs> no, one hour didn't work. Oh, you need a woman as well. I'm sorry, yeah, another going. human. You must have done what I did. Yeah. You, you can't do it alone. Yeah. I took your sex advice. Damn you! you said damn lock you. yourself in a yeah, room. The first two answers are always stupid. Yeah. Three and four are the ones. Yeah. yeah, you never point out you need a woman in a that partner. column. No. Well, not a woman. I mean, anything will do. Not anything. A male or a female. Don't attack animals, please. Oh God, yeah. Now no. your producer is scarred for life. No, it's no, no. He's disgusting. <laughs> he's, he's got very bad habits. I'm just uh-huh. worried about. Naveen's a wonderful young comedian. I'm also worried about what he endures in this room over the last you know, seventy-five keep, shows. Now we have to keep saying young comedian, yes. right? Because otherwise they'll know we can't hear them. <laughs> Very good, young man. So he's that way. Yeah, very good. <laughs> what, what do you want to end on? Last year, yeah. I was the co-writer of a classic Bollywood film. It was my first foray into it's Bollywood. Not in my, it's not here. I can't mention. It's not on your piece of paper. It's not in my. It's we can't talk because you've already found the good things. I reached the end. Disco yeah. dancer is the climax. To yeah. Use a now we can, so the film that came out last year. I'm whispering. I don't know. It's called yeah. Bar Bar Dekho. It was written by some other bar, guy. Bar Bar Dekho. Yeah. Bar Bar, bar Dekho. Which clearly I know that you. You're forced to know it. <laughs> Hindi, Hindi films. You don't want to know Hindi it. You're forced to know it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So it was a time travel film. I, I just they and I thought, oh, I get Bollywood. Everyone will watch it. So they had a script and. And they hired me as a co-writer. Mm. Came on board, and universally was the considered the worst film of the year, mm. right? But what I loved is end of the year. Six months have passed, right? Um, for no reason, 
one of the magazines, I think it was GQ, are hmm. uh, doing a list of the worst films of the year. Hmm. And I read these magazines usually in my barber shop or in a toilet or whatever. You know these magazines like GQ or whatever, yeah. right? Where else, right? You can't say that. Oh, sorry. Because actually we do, but we can't yeah, say that. We can't mention it's it. It's supposed to be the, you know, the thing where you read in public and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GQ, it's high, high, high. In a suit. It, it used to be IQ, now it's GQ. <laughs> G- even one higher, thing. yeah. It's always a strange man with a strange expression on the, and I'm, I'm not saying that because we're not conventionally good looking. Yeah. But you, you see these men, why are they yeah. always uh, ramrod straight with their eyes and looking into the camera in a harsh manner like they're going to stab someone? Yeah. I've never got that. That signifies to these men, rich Indian. He's rich is Indian. It, is it? And, and the other thing they do is the pout. Have yeah. you noticed the pout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why you, know, you know where it shows up? In those ads for very posh things like stuff. Yeah. Be... The new man yeah, Like whatever yeah, right? yeah. It's usually like Someone like Farhan in the ad yeah. And he's kind of like Walking yeah. Yeah, He's in Singapore In a building Farhan looks like a guy An Indian guy in Eton Who's failed for the last Four years <laughs> And has grown a beard To hide his shame That's what I I get from him <laughs> He can't and graduate Without hearing him sing 11 to 12 <laughs> <laughs> For four years <laughs> They're like that huh. So So it was universally Bar bar right? yeah. So And I'm the second co-writer Right So I'm thinking Or the co-writer hmm. So I'm thinking I'll slip under the radar No one will notice right and mostly no one noticed some people abused me like critics and stuff they mm. were like this is like rubbish. the parents of the writer of Barbar Deco and fair, <laughs> some fair people enough. beat yeah. up my family burned down my house yeah. but other than that it was typical fine. reaction nothing <laughs> bad India. Yeah. India you lost two relatives but hey yeah, I just <laughs> didn't like her anyway yeah. yeah one thing just says this is the worst film of the year mm-hmm. right and then for no reason mm. they put so they had a photo of Katrina Kaif and the actor Siddharth mm. Malhotra compulsory who, yes compulsory who were in it and they're embracing all very lovely in the bottom they put a little photo of me what are you saying with a little arrow saying, like a baby yeah like a small <laughs> child if they had children <laughs> under daylight on a Tuesday this would be the result <laughs> but he has talent <laughs> for a family like that this one has talent yeah even though the parents look younger than this fat son <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Barbara Deco's sequel is called Return of the Jedi. <laughs> oh, it makes no sense. <laughs> Yoda What were you saying? Put an arrow uh, Right They put uh, my photo Put an arrow there Saying Can you believe This guy wrote it But without explaining Who this guy is Are you kidding is. me? Yeah Are you for real? Yeah yeah This was. Can I, you believe This guy wrote it? Yeah Why would you do that? And then My barber started laughing at me Like I go to this Really cheap barber shop yeah. But that's sarcasm Because you have no hair But Yeah um, correct yeah. I don't know why I Beyond go Beyond that normal laugh <laughs> Maybe routine To fit into the mm. normal You must be thinking This is my market I don't work I just okay, Come I'll play on your dread For two minutes And then off you go Give That's me what he does <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you've yeah. seen me there clearly. Yeah, that's, that's how I got my does. acting jobs. <laughs> Oh. Just play on your there you go. This is Subhash Ghai Just give him a little rub <laughs> oh. Pat on the head. So your barber saw it. He saw the picture. Yeah, he saw the thing and he's like, Sir, huh? Oh yeah. He just gave me like a little, huh, sir? Huh? Like He thought you're the item number in the Katrina Kaif film. Which is where Bollywood has come to. Katrina Kaif is the yeah. lead and the item number is somebody else. Yeah, and you know. Katrina Kaif, my parent, yeah, as you've yeah. established. <laughs> One of your parents. One of my we parents. Won't, we won't single her who and all that. We'll just leave it there. So not only am I the writer of the film, Siddharth Malhotra is my dad. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Aren't you happy? Finally. I love it. A, a, a dad who should shave every day. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine what it does for all bad movies where they put up photos of anyone. Like imagine if uh, tomorrow there's a film that comes out, Sarkar 3, right? Mm. And they put out a photo of you and they said, can you believe this guy's not in it? Yeah. <laughs> and those three guys, Ram Gopal and Varma, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I noticed you went after that poor guy. What's he ever done to you? Exactly. Quick, quick word on all the trolling that goes on. This uh, social media, according to you, in India, um, we see everybody using it for their personal... Are we not thinking and uh, doing it? Is that is that the thing? Are we not... Are we just reacting? So, so I don't know. I mean, I, I know that you have a well, lovely dislike for... <laughs> Online stuff yeah. Do you have a cell phone now? I have a cell phone right. But my mom gives it to me Twice a day for a few hours And once I've cleaned my right hand I give it back <laughs> Because I know the myth About the great Cyrus brochure For years was that I didn't have a phone Till 41 I'm now yeah. 45 But yeah. I do have it, And you know how I had to get it Because I had to pick up the kids My son actually at that point <laughs> And my uh, wife says Okay the, the so and so parent says She cannot believe You don't have a uh, thing And where will, you, where will the car be And how will they contact you? So finally, I, I, so I, should, I would take my mom's phone. I have to answer all her calls yeah. while I'm sitting there waiting for the kid. Yeah, and that's how it started. It's a long story, but terrible. But but that's I still a good have reason. my mom's friends though. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my child. Is a good reason to get a cell phone. 
Because they won't accept it. They were like, why, why doesn't he have a phone? What kind of person is this? That's apparently reach him? all your like people who wanted you for shows and TV. All the work I lost. No one could reach you. Like, Today, that Veer Das, laughing all the way to the bank because he had two phones. That bastard had two phones. All he needed was a phone. That was the difference. He had yeah. three, but two years. <laughs> and one of them was yours. There you go. He answered, hello Cyrus. So yeah. Veer Das is my mom. That's, yeah. all, that's yeah, the story. Yeah. That's the story. Thanks to that is my dad. Yeah. Damn you. Yeah. Will I be a little balloon at the bottom of, of some film of Vidas Can you believe this guy Is Vidas Just a photo I've been yeah. told you have to shut up Oh wow The Sorry. sponsor yes. is a, a Vidas lover Yes okay. exactly yeah. Stay where you are We have the AMAs coming Right I don't know what that is I have no idea Sorry myself. for coughing Like I have diphtheria no, Listen without the cough We have no show Can correct. we cough 5 seconds more please Correct correct But realize the biggest cough Was when you talked about My sex life Orgasm Yeah 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 Does, does it happen Let's try Orgasm Yeah My whole My innards revolt <laughs> But for some reason It's not now Orgasm <laughs> Or is it your orgasm? <laughs> if you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com. Uh, May, Anwar, Anwar, May. Hi. Oh, this uh, one has me in it. Is there you it? go. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the two of you guys. No, just, no. It's, it's three minutes of pleasure. Oh, my. As you're my well two aware. I'm very good at that. <laughs> but if we are your favorites, can you tell us our mother's names? You can't. I can't So you lied But you, when you're a fan of someone The first thing you don't look up is Who's their mom <laughs> yeah. like that's But Indians the always know their statistics Like you ask someone about Virat Kohli They tell you everything about him Yeah but do you know Virat Kohli's mom's name? Uh, Mrs. Kohli <laughs> I mean, Comes to mind Alright yeah. let's start Let's start Yay So how are you Anubhav It's been a while I did all that I, God no. the woman's gonna go on I'm, talk I'm, I haven't like caught up with him But yeah. this is not the kind of show You can't do uh, all these You uh, can't have a catch up in between I, in the I have of to your say show, I didn't expect Like you two are my favourite radio people what? I didn't expect two of you In one room together This room thing is a real problem with you isn't it <laughs> Yeah 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 We'll do open air shows after this <laughs> yeah. Alright Yeah No locking people I've up. just got into a room <laughs> Mr. Sen Anjali please leave <laughs> Can we start? I just want to rub myself all over. What? The bub, all okay, the time. stop. Don't start. What I are you saying? Him a hug. Sorry, you just said. You said you rub, rub myself rub all, yourself. Rub all the time. No, now I'm. I don't rub on a rub. What the hell? I don't rub. <laughs> now imagine what That's I've got. Good. This information. Yeah. It's a random Friday. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite radio people said this sentence. How am I supposed to spend the rest of this Friday? Call Mr. Sen. Call <laughs> Anjali. <laughs> have a conversation. We can work it out. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, Nubab. He's one of the funniest guys I know. Okay, wait. There's a question. Yes. How soon do you estimate World War Three will begin? It's already started. It started in '77 August. <laughs> uh, no one's paying attention because yeah. of the weather. Yeah. It's just too bloody hot. It is but true. it's all over the place. Why that year? I thought it was your. Was it because of your birthday? Or? I, oh, so sweet. Oh. '77. Yeah. <laughs> shy, shy. I was coming. driving. I was yeah. driving by then. <laughs> yeah. No one needs to know that. <laughs> now we just told everyone. That was a different Bombay. Yeah. Bombay. Yes, I said it. Bombay. You did say it. You did uh, say it. I said it from a studio in Malad, <laughs> which is Mumbai. How have you dealt with Mumbai? Uh, I just, I, I've got a theory. I'm yeah. saying if, instead of fighting over names and all that, yeah. give numbers to our cities. <laughs> number one, the I double meaning three. also works. Number one for Mumbai. Number two yeah. for Delhi. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And if you, there's a metaphor sense. there. If you want to really disco dance a lover, if you want to, you know, teach all that. <laughs> May ask questions. Okay. Gay and bisexual men in Chechnya have been rounded yeah, up yeah, and yeah. held inside That's a modern-day concentration camp. What are your views on it? This is from Rajesh. Yeah, this is true. This is not even. Sorry, uh, voluntarily. Chechnya. Or? No. Chechnya. To which, a concentration camp. No, che- meaning Chechnya has no, its they own were like mini rounded United up Nations, and like. And they do their humanitarian work, like uh, you know, doing things like rounding up people of different sexual preferences. And mm-hmm. uh, but how do they? It's uh, is it how do they know you're gay? Yeah. This is a way to find out. Right, so have they really curious about Mr. Cyrus. Sen, can you come back? <laughs> <laughs> like, let us say in any culture, if they got, yeah. say, 500 straight people and locked them up in a concentration camp, how would you know the person was straight? Like, would you go and ask them? I call it the... Uh, my like, f- look, if they are rounded up the artistic no, community, I'll most are asexual because... Uh, no, I'll, 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 out of choice, I'll tell you, but because I'll tell you, it's no very, one will see It's an experiment. Uh, a friend of mine, I call it the Rajat theory, or a friend of mine called Rajat. <laughs> and uh, what we used to do is uh, we were drinking at a bar and a hot girl, let's say a Priyanka Chopra look like passes and you look at her derriere and all of us look at it and uh, we all go look at each other and in a male way look at each other in this disgusting way and sort of, you know, wow and all that. And then like Rajat after perverts. five seconds does the same thing in an acting way. Oh, wow! <laughs> then you know that he 
he's not straight. It's like that. <laughs> so the because Chechens have it. Yeah, yeah. They, they do the same thing, but they don't have a bar. Right. So they had to do it in a farm. Same thing. Exactly. So they the same. tested them. They tested they them. They made women walk by. Priyanka Chopra, basically. Yeah. yeah. Made Priyanka what Chopra. do you think? Yeah. That superb TV show she does in America is going to run forever? No. You look for work internationally. Yeah. She's in Chechnya. And she's, she's international. She is international. Yeah. She is Her international. Her accent is not. No one can tell. No one can. It it's could be Polish. Chechnya. It's yes. <laughs> it's part crocodile. Nile yeah. crocodile. Yeah. It's just. It's Qua- over. Quantico. Yeah. Quantico. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I've noticed know. when she's doing the love scenes, her mouth opens and she breathes heavily, even before anything happens. <laughs> Have you noticed? <sighs> I'm yeah. like, but there's nobody there. He's going to come. Yeah, yeah. He's in a long shot. Alone, alone in a room. Yeah. Sorry, Chechnya. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're so living in a world where mm-hmm. this is going to just, I think, you just have to laugh. What there's shocks me is like, do. how is this happening now? Because how is this happening? What kind of world do we live in? Because like, you always assume that this let is Let him talk. He's put his hand up three times. Now he's going to put something else up. Talk, talk, talk. I'm not sure that would work in a yes. small really? might. She wants to rub. Yeah. I want to rub now. Come on. I want to rub. After Chechnya, I'm going to rub. Just... As this could point. be the most private conversation like I've ever had in my entire life. I think I think I this feel tokenism like we're already has to, in Chechnya right now. Yeah, yeah. symbolism and tokenism. tokenism the people listening here would think we're just on in one giant bed. The, or something. I, the, irony, the only people who listen we to are. us are Chechnyans. Yeah, correct. correct. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. Straight Chechnyans. No, how is this happening? Is a great point. In 2017, uh, the other day, the American Vice President Mike Pence said he does not have dinner with a woman who's not his wife. No, he well if she's serving no, him as a count. as a good Christian, he doesn't think it is okay for him to have dinner with Isn't it what woman. he does after dinner with the woman is not his wife that's the problem? <laughs> I'm yeah. you know, what's the big deal? Yeah. Honey, now I'm going to Rubina's room. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's the concern. Do you have no sense of self restraint? Like I don't understand if a woman like stands in front of you, you think I must I must do you uh, now. For me, yeah. for me it's a slightly what different issue. It's insulting to the for woman. For me, my right? my what? lovely my lovely she wife. He basically seems like he's an idiot and like has me, no um, sense of like For me, my wife, I should lovely food. woman, but she makes sounds while eating. So I prefer not to eat with her because you know <laughs> and she guzzles on the soup that kind of thing. So I, I really mean, want to meet her. No, I, I, I just I always tell her, can you eat in the other room? And then of course uh, the beating is severe. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you're saying you only dine on your own. Yeah. Yes, but Mike yeah. Pence's theory is wrong. I'm saying, you know, if you don't want to eat on your own, have a proper reason. Yeah. Like your wife makes sounds like an elephant yeah. bathing. Correct. Yes, fair enough. <laughs> correct, correct, yeah. correct. And looking at Mike Pence, I can tell Mrs. Pence ain't no, you know, Miss uh, Illinois or whatever. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. Probably Donald Trump with less hair. <laughs> sorry, next oh, one. Oh yeah, wait. Sorry, Anubhav didn't get a chance to finish. What he He's trying to, to talk, but no. You but go your on. question was your question is a valid question. Yeah. Which is how is this happening in 2017? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that I think the uh, the music thing is that I think you guys is that 2017 we all expect to be so far ahead progressively that when you do these things, no one will notice. Right. Like you know, if you're oh you're, my god, that's really you're interesting. A cool gay person in a in a bar in Chechnya dancing, and suddenly you're just slowly led into a concentration camp. Yeah, yeah, party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like, who will do this to me? It's 2017. I can do whatever I want, right? Like you're not expect. Like for example, remember the 80s. Next minute, you're smelling the ashes of your friends. Like, is this- yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, hey, they're just- also burning. <laughs> by the way, wow. me as comedy is a Auschwitz. quiet taste. Yeah. I'm just yeah. warning you right yeah. now. Yeah, I was you might feel Auschwitz all kinds of emotions. Now but ultimately, you will no? laugh. Okay, from sorry, imprisonment guys. to a bunch of burnt homosexuals. <laughs> She's killed everyone in Chechnya. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's hey. no one left. Latvia's guys, next. I'm we're, telling we're, you, be we're careful. Hitler was really nothing. Odd. Genghis Khan was Genghis no. Khan. Nothing. Nothing. No, he's like, you're getting edited out, yeah. me. Well, the Baltic states have ceased to exist while we've talked on this sentence alone. Yeah. So I just have mentioned, sorry, uh, this random thing. So I was on a flight with an Indian uncle and I love Indian uncle's views on homosexuality. Right. So he was telling me about his nephew who studies in Australia Mm -hmm. so this is exactly what he said to me he said see he was in Sydney the city is very liberal and open and he got into this homo thing what the hell is that right, Homo thing It's like rugby But he was playing defense huh? So his This is how he justified yeah. That's quite funny This is how he justified Homosexuality to be He said uh, See I got it I didn't object huh? I'm quite liberal I told him He should try it One or two times It's fine But not three He said <laughs> I've also, you know, eaten non-veg food. 
That's the the correlation. correlation Tangri kebab and sex with a man. Same yeah, thing. Same thing. But cheaper. Yeah. Sex with a man is cheaper. So do the right thing by your economy. Yeah, <laughs> That's fair. what his logic was. That oh yeah yeah I tried ran for the marathon. I once drank a Campari. Yeah, yeah. and I humped a couple of men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but <Same>. only once. <laughs> only once. Yeah. I said, Uncle, you realize that it's not like that. It's a. Yeah. He's like, who so, told you? Like, <laughs> he gave me that look like. At least he didn't blame Sydney, which is known for its gay, you know, sort of. Market <laughs> like it's in this it's all the fault of the geography. Yeah. If we had just gone west of the tundra, nothing yeah. would have happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be straight as an arrow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, one day the Indian uncle becomes an auntie, and then it's all over the place <laughs> downhill. Yeah. But we've got one last question. Oh, How much of the information on the internet should we trust when people can't yeah. differentiate between snap? Yeah, I have the answer. It's forty-one point six six percent exactly, <laughs> and it goes uh, on weekends. It's fifty-two point five. Cyrus, I have a question. You please because I I've answered it before you asked. No, it. in that. No. You know, I've been, I've been, a f- I've known both your work for okay, a long time, yes. <laughs> and I do know that in the world that's technology obsessed, yes, you are famously not online. So my father and I, when we were alone three years ago, and nobody in the house, TV wasn't working. Called the electrician, he didn't charge us. Do you know why? The plug was out. Just the main plug. <laughs> nothing more than that. So he actually laughed at us, took the cup of chai and said, "Kuch paisa nahi." He felt bad. He felt, actually felt bad that there's such morons. Uh, you know, this is a guy with an education of 10 standard, I, I think, at best. So what would you do mm. if, if you signed up for Facebook and you started reading this barrage of news? I'll tell you, I want to be a better writer. Like we were talking about how I'm too old-fashioned. If I can't hold the book, I can't, these phones are difficult. To, I, it's too, I can't read. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, can't, but yeah. I do appreciate naked females, though. So send me more. <laughs> You say, oh, yeah. I like the way you say, yeah, pictures of my aunts, and then you know, it's all this. Yeah, yeah. 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 At least you won't end up in Chechnya, dude. <laughs> correct, correct. They'll kill us in Chechnya for comedy. But that's not even a sign that I'm straight. I'm yeah. just sending yeah. photos of Nick. Yeah. I could be oh, yeah, a very like, gay person. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, you don't have to go to Chechnya to get uh, put in a concentration camp. Uh, you, mm-hmm. Four kilometers from the studio will get put in a camp in like a minute. So, so Louis CK's new stand up special has a lovely bit where he says, every time I watch Magic Mike, he said, I'm straight, but every time I watch Magic Mike when Matthew McConaughey comes up and he's got some line in that movie that says I think taking off your pants is against the law but I see a lot of lawbreakers out there or something mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that yeah. when you say it but, I don't even care about Matthew yeah, McConaughey yeah but Matthew McConaughey you don't care about Matthew but a short Bengali <laughs> man doing an impression like May's taste we have to do something about that I think she's aiming low <laughs> yeah. maybe I have a chance yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> always aiming low guys yeah. is, that Matthew McCon- low. is that Matthew McConaughey or the other guy yeah <laughs> correct the other guy being me that's yeah, what's enough. really sad so he yeah. said that you know when, when he does that something happens to me you know like it's just like my lower regions wake up and then he says I haven't seen the end of the film but I think my conclusion is by the end time Magic Mike ends the end of that story is I'm probably gay <laughs> that's how that story ends so it's like that right it's yeah, just it's like that so yeah. on that kind beautiful story yourself. which made Louis C.K. into Louis C.K. C.K. Yeah. Yeah. we say bye to our guest oh, a rub a yeah. barrel for all thank seasons you, thank you thank you you can now rub the bride thank you yay <laughs> Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me. And that's what Cyrus says. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Sorry to say, but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun. As you can see, there's death, destruction and chaos taking place all around us. But don't you worry, food and drinks will be served shortly, and I would recommend checking out IVM Podcasts to get some of your favorite Indian podcasts. We'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over. Thank you.